in the backfield are Weiser and Morrow. The receiver to the right is Kukas. Fourth and goal from the six-yard line. The Florence fans getting involved in this game right now. And Garcia will pitch it left to Morrow. Swings it to the outside of the five. Looking for a seam. Tries to break out of a tackle. And he's down at the four-yard line. Morrow did not get in. And Florence takes over on downs as the tackle was made along the far sideline by Connor Hesloff, the junior defensive back. And they will start at their own three-and-a-half-yard line. It was one of those deals where we had the blockers out there. Just our blockers let one guy slip by. They kind of ran past him, and, and they were looking at trying to block somebody else downfield. And, and the guy that they let run right by him ended up being the guy that made the tackle. And it was a pitcher-perfect tackle, head and front, down low below the hips. There was no way that Marlowe was going to be able to break it. An eight-minute and 40-second drive goes for not. The quarterback is Heath Benker, starting for their own three. He's going to roll to his left, wants to throw underneath the pass. It's going to be complete at the 13-yard line and tackle that around the 16 and a first down as Bruce Melendez makes the play as Abram Mendoza. And a nice pickup of 13 yards and a Florence first down as they get out of that hole. The Florence is coming out there saying, you know what, we're, we're going to come at you right here and, and establish our passing game. And by doing that, they stretch our defense out a little bit and make us think twice about sending our linebackers. Well, that was an eight-minute and 40-second drive, but the beat diggers came up empty. The backs in an eye on first down. There's a give right up the gut, diving to the 18-yard line. It was Tyler Farrow. It'll be second down and eight. The beat diggers are set up along that line with Tyson Larrick and Kyle Hefner. Levi Brenneman. We'll see Kyle Muir in there as well. Connor Weiser also on that line. Joe Rosenbach, a linebacker out there with Derek Lynch. And Shea Hansen. Dylan French, of course, on that line. Kyle Hefner, actually a linebacker. And Brandon Rutherford and C.J. Kukas rounded out. Second down and eight for the 18. There's the option right. Banker takes off of the football. He drives his body across the 20 to the 23, picking up five yards in the play and grabbing him around the ankles was Derek Lynch with the initial hit. Third down and three for Florence. 2.15 to go in the opening quarter. No score. You can see Banker. He's a big load out there. And when he runs that football on that option, they're going to have to tackle him low or else he's going to be breaking some tackles. Yeah, he went very strong. He used that upper and lower body to barrel into beat diggers and pick up an extra couple of yards. Third down and three for Florence at their own 23-yard line. Looked like there was some movement. There's the handoff right up the gun and the beat diggers stop him. At around the 24-yard line, and that looked like that might have been Farrow again. And it was Leo Martinez instead, a gain of one. But there were a bevy of beat diggers to make the play. There was about four or five guys that were right there. Once they made contact, they drove them straight back. And Florence came out just trying to run an ISO. They had their fullback lined up right behind um, Banker, their quarterback, and they just tried to run an ISO over the, over the right side. But there was just no way the diggers were going to allow it. Danny Droll, the punt. He's standing at his own 11. Shea Hansen at the beat digger, 44. Awaiting the snap. There it is. The beat diggers have a rush on. He gets it off. End over end. And a fair catch by Hansen at the 47-yard line. Something that, Dave, you salivate every time that happens. You love that because that affects field position. You bet. I just, I especially love the fact that Shea got his hands up there. He waved his hands twice to make sure everybody could see it. He made a good play on that fair catch. And like you said, you know, that prevented that ball. The ball probably would have rolled down to the 25 if they let it bounce. But just a heads-up play there by Shea and a heads-up play by the coaching staff to make sure he's standing back far enough to pick up that punt because the wind's blowing pretty strong at Florence's back right now. 29-yard punt. Yeah, the wind is definitely a factor. First and 10 for the beat diggers from their own 47. A minute 14 to go in the opening quarter. No score. And Garcia on first down is going to head off the Weiser running left, and he's tripped up at the 49-yard line. Boy, they just grabbed him around the ankle, and that's all they needed to get him down. But it doesn't matter how big you are. You tackle real low, and you can stop some big yardage, only a gain of two. You know, I think he slipped up a little bit there as he was running back behind Dylan French and Ramon Portese on the left side. And it looked like he just tried to, he just drove off his left foot and slipped a little bit. But that was the second spot I don't think we really got the best end of the deal on. Rosenbrock is the setback along with Weiser. There's the handoff to Weiser, and he's hit in the backfield. However, he gets back to the line of scrimmage for no gain. It'll be third down and eight. And once again, McDowell makes the tackle. For Florence, an obvious passing situation here for Brush, and we'll see what Florence does here. You know, if they send three line or send three down linemen, or if they go ahead and start sending some linebackers as well, and, 
It's going to be a big test for Brust to see if they can pick up the blitz. Check that. That was John Alexander making the tackle third down and eight for the 49-yard line. C.J. Kukas is the quarterback. There are six seconds to go in the opening quarter. Will Kukas get the snap off? He does. He pumps, looks down the left sideline out there, and the catch is going to be made, I believe, inside the 30 to the 27 for a first down by Shea Hansen. Oh, a spectacular play for the Beat Diggers. A gain of 24 and a first down, and that's the final play of the opening quarter. No score between Brush and Florence. You're listening to the opening round of the 2009 2A playoffs on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.